good Monday morning to you. We're going to be looking about when Jesus had begun his ministry, was doing miracles, healing people, the blind, those who had leprosy, uh, those who could not walk, the lame, those who were deaf, who could not hear. Uh, he was driving out demons from people, and his reputation spread out throughout the land. And then Jesus returns to his hometown, Nazareth. Now, when Jesus returned to Galilee, and I'm reading now from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verse 14. And when Jesus returned to Galilee, filled with the Holy Spirit's power, reports about him spread quickly through the whole region. He taught regularly in their synagogues and was praised by everyone because of what they had seen happen. And when he came to the village of Nazareth, Nazareth, his boyhood home, he went as usual to the synagogue on the Sabbath and stood up and read the scriptures, which was typical of the local synagogues and most little villages. The scroll of Isaiah, the prophet, was handed to him. He enrolled the scroll, found the place where this was written. And the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released, and that the blind will see, the oppressed will be set free, and that the time of the Lord's favor has come. He rolled the scroll back up, had it back to the attendant, and he sat down. All eyes in the synagogue were looking at him intently. Then he began to speak to them. He said, the scripture you've heard has been, has been fulfilled this very, very day. When you think about the fulfillment of God's prophecy from the book of Isaiah, and Jesus fulfilled that prophecy when he said, the hungry will be fed, the oppressed will be uplifted. Those who have been misaligned will be will be given comfort. Those who are despondent will be given cheer. I want you to be aware of the fact that today this is being fulfilled because this was the fulfillment of the prophecy of the Messiah as Isaiah had written about and had proclaimed the goodness of his love. I want you all to be aware that as we look to the grace of God in our lives on this Monday do you hear the good news being taught or talked about? Do you hear the gospel being revealed in people's lives and in our lives, in your life today? If not, why not? Because God may be calling you to be the prophecy of God to fulfill by sharing what you found in the love and the forgiveness of Jesus Christ with someone else. That fulfills the prophecy of God. It means that God is at work in you and in me. And if we keep quiet, we prove that God is not at work in us. So we're called to be his disciples like everyone else in the New Testament. Isaiah says, today has been fulfilled. And Jesus confirms that in himself. Pray with me. Father, we thank you for the goodness of your love and for revealing to us the power and the witness that you brought to this earth. You teach and touch and embrace us today in so many ways. May we learn from what we've learned today from the scripture. For we ask this in your name. Amen. Go in this day and rejoice that God is at work in your life and mine today. See you tomorrow.